Hi, and welcome to another Legless video. Today, we are setting up our IHH 500. This is a digital handheld display that we can use paired with a low cell. Remember that for this process, we're going to need our calibration certificate. So, let's get started. After we are done setting up the connection to the handheld device, we'll start this up by hitting the menu option, then sensor profile. If we want a brand new configuration, then we select new channel. It will require us to select a free channel from the device. Now that we are in a new channel, it's time to configure the sensor specs. Our sensor type is indicated in the load cell data sheet. In my case, it's full bridge. Now we'll set up the direction of the load cell. This information should also be on your load cell data sheet, but if you can find it, just figure out in which direction the load cell will be working tension, compression, or both. As my load cell works in both directions, I'll go with bidirectional configuration. Now it's time to select the unit we want to measure. As I said before, the load cell I'm using right now is a 500 pounds, so I'll select force. Right after that, it will require us to select the unit in which the value will be displayed, in my case, pounds. Now we'll set up the sensor capacity, I'll go for my 500 pounds. It's time to set the sensitivity. As my load cell is bidirectional, I'll have to configure both sides of the sensitivity. Again, this information should be on your load cells data sheet or calibration certificate. If you are able to work a calibration process with your load cell, the calibration option is for you. You can place a zero load and a full scale load to adjust the sensitivity of the load cell. Also, the option pools rotate is used for torque sensors that have an encoder feature so we'll pass over that. After we set this up, we're ready to go. So we'll have to hit the Save Changes option. If you see a little chip on the zero, it's because it didn't run a zero load calibration. But if you did run this test, you should be good to go. With these simple steps, our device is not ready to go. If you like this video, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be seeing you on the next one.